morning YouTube viewers and subscribers uh, I'm at the remote engine running site this morning because it's early and as you can see it's an incredibly foggy morning in fact so foggy that my glasses are even fogging up so it's gonna be hard to see on the bench today I have a newly acquired Inya 45 CX engine that I just uh, disassembled cleaned up and put some new bearings in now this engine did not clean up very well because the outside of the case was already kind of uh, weathered. Um, one thing I noticed when replacing the front bearings is that I just noticed it here even with my foggy glasses that the front end of the housing is cracked. I never saw that before so with that said I'm not sure how good this run's going to go because this casing is cracked right here. I'll get some pictures of that. That's really unfortunate. I did not notice that initially. So, with that said, let's see if I can get it to run at all. I'm expecting to see a massive amount of leakage coming out of this. Now, I'm not sure if this is something I'm going to be able to JB weld up now or not, but it is what it is. I've got an 11.6 prop. I'm not sure what this glow plug is, but it's not an idle bar. And I've got some 5% Omega fuel here. So let's uh, see what happens. That is not a good sign at all. issues with the low end on this thing. Okay, clearly this Inya has some issues. Uh, I didn't see any leakage coming out of this front crankcase where I saw that crack from, but clearly this thing has some issues. Whether it's the carb, whether it's the crankcase allowing more air in, but I've actually closed the air bleed screw, tried to run it. A lot of this was done off camera because it was just frustrating. 
closed the air bleed screw completely, that didn't help. I've opened the air bleed screw completely, that didn't help. I've had it halfway, that didn't help. So clearly there's just some something going on here and every time it would die, it would die like it was lean because I'd have to reprime it every single time. So, good thing this wasn't an expensive engine because quite honestly it looks like a dud and I'm not really sure I'm going to screw with it much more. But anyway, things don't always go as planned, things don't always go well, and that's just how it is. So thank you for watching.